Hi everyone, this is my first video tutorial in this series of square byte inventory system and today I'm gonna show you how to use this system and how to set up your project. So, uh, first thing to do is to import the Playmaker in your project because this system is made completely with uh, Playmaker and after that you can import the square byte inventory system. There is a uh, under the tools menu, menu, you will notice square byte menu which can be used to create uh, items in your project and systems in your scene. There is also online resources with uh, tutorial, YouTube channel for tutorials. This is square byte guide and about window. So let's uh, get started. Let's for the start create a new scene. Let's add some cube here. Um, let's scale it a bit. Now it is uh, one thirty. Let's uh, add some directional light here. Let's change this. Uh, let's change this to some some different material. Now we have to add our main character and camera. So this camera will be delete it and let's add our own camera which uh, has some FSI components and it will follow our character on the scene. Let's add it. Let's position it. Okay, middle of everything. Okay. Now let's create some systems under the tools, square byte create system with game manager system. Let's add some other system. Let's create inventory system and let's create character stat system. Let's add some items to the scene. Under the items folder you will see uh, 3D items and GUI items. GUI items are what you can see in your inventory and 3D items are what you can see in your scene. So let's add some of them. Let's add elixir of dexterity, energy, health, strength. Okay, let's add this amulet. Let's add this gold ring, this armor. Hmm, let's add this lockpick. Portion of health, this two handed sword, this one handed sword, and let's add this poison, add few experience of uh, portion of experience just to show you how you can increase your stats. So let's let's click play to see what will happen. So as you can see, there are items all over the place. As you can see, when you are close to some item, it will show you the item display name. And when you press E key, you can pick it and store it in your inventory. So let's see, iron plate, let's elixir of strength. There is some amulet that blinking on the ground. Elixir of health. Two-handed sword, deadly poison. As you can see, all all of your items are displayed here, and my setup is um, five items, uh, five columns, and seven rows. So uh, it will display maximum of 35 items. Uh, so you can change that, of course. And when you mouse over any item. You will see its display uh, information in these two preview windows. So this uh, elixir will increase my uh, strength by five points when used. So let's check this out. Character stats uh, window. It will activate by pressing the C key. So let's use something. Let's use this. As you can see, I drink this uh, elixir and my strength is increased by five. So it's 15 now. Let's drink it. 
and there you go our health is decreased so if you drink this potion it will restore your health by 50 points so, so yeah uh, this will increase your max health this will increase your max energy by 10 points and as you can see there is 60 there is 90 I can't equip this item because I don't have enough strength its requirement is uh, 20 strength and I have only 15 so let's uh, as you can see I forgot to pick these items and there is some lock pick here let's pick this too so, uh, when I equip this ring, it will increase temporarily my strength and dexterity by 5 points and then I, I can equip this sword. So, let's try this. As you can see, ring is equipped, bank route is added and some increase to your stats. So, let's try this. Here it goes. Item is equipped. It's placed on the shelter on the player's back. Unequip, equip. Equip this sword. As you can see, there is a label W that show you that your weapon is equipped. Same goes for apparel that will display this A label. Apparel is equipped. If you click this icon, it will display all of your items. And if you click this, it will display only your weapons. If you click this, only apparel, only consumable items, miscellaneous items, and key or quest items. So, as you can see, it's selective and you can choose anything you like. Uh, now I'm going to show you how to uh, set up your chest. As you can see, there are many items. Create system, create storage manager. Here it is. And under this level item list, just uh, place uh, all of these items under this under this list. This will be important when it comes to the uh, save scene items. Let's uh, create some chest. I'm gonna show you how how the chest can work. As you can see, there is our chest, and you go to Tools, Square Byte, Create System, Create Chest. Okay, first let's parent it to the chest, and just use a reset. This is easier. And position it like this before the chest. Uh, this will be the area where the character will crouch to open this chest. Last thing to do about this chest is to specify uh, its chest cover so it will just use a rotation on this chest cover and chest will open uh, let's add some items here this is the chest item database you specify how many items you want okay so for example let's add three items and let's see what items should we Let's add some portion of experience, let's add some portion of health, and let's add the elixir of strength, for example. Uh, for the keys, you have to specify your, for the uh, tree, pole, exp. This will be key code for our portion of experience, tree, pole, energy. And for the elixir, it will be 3L strength. Uh, so after you the after you do this, you have to add count items. So for our uh, three for X, we'll use for example five three for energy maybe 10 and 3 L strength 4 or 5 or maybe this can be 15 okay so let's play and see what will happen in this chest let's 
go near it, open chest, press E key, chest will open and your items will be displayed. As you can see there are 5 of these elixirs, 15 of these, 5 of these. Just click on them to transfer them to your inventory. And if you have uh, more than 10, uh, you can define that number as you want, but uh, I set it to 10. If you have more than 10 and you press on this item, you will get a slider. So you can choose how many items you want to transfer in your inventory. This can be adjustable of course and also uh, the shop system use the same methods as uh, the chest methods. Basically only difference is uh, item price. As you can see there is the uh, price value uh, it's uh, 125 and if you use this uh, item in your shop it will uh, have uh, this value multiplied by 4 you can set that of course too. I will show you later how to do that. Oh yeah, I forgot to... Uh, I'm gonna drink a few of, the, a few of these potions of uh, experience just to show you how skills work and now I got new level. I need more experience for the next level. It's already calculated and there is uh, some plus buttons which you can use to add your skills, add your stats. So let's add uh, one uh, stat point. I have only one stat point per level and there is the place where I will use it. There is zero now, 15 strength. It's increased by five per uh, one uh, stat point and you can use this one skill to increase level of your one-handed, two-handed range and spiritual skills. You can also define this as you want, but this is just uh, just doing one ex example. So it's increased two-handed, and there you go. Okay, guys, that's that's it for now. Uh, in next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up your chest, and I will explain uh, how to define your items, uh, how to create a new items. And what are the most important uh, things to do when working with uh, items? Thank you for watching. Stay tuned and uh, wait for the next tutorial. Bye bye.